Hey guys, Steve here from Nostalgia. Just putting together another video for you guys. This one will be a nice short and sweet one. Uh, just gonna show you guys really quickly how to add a splash screen or a custom splash screen to your RetroPie system. Uh, it's really simple. What you're gonna wanna do first off is make sure that your RetroPie is, or your Raspberry Pi is plugged in and turned on as well as connected to your network. Uh, make sure you are either connected in through your ethernet, um, your LAN jack or you're connected to Wi-Fi. And then you go to your computer and you're gonna to go to your start menu here and you're gonna type in backslash backslash RetroPie and enter. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna look on the network and it's gonna find your RetroPie, it's gonna find your Raspberry Pi and open it up. And you can see right here, you've got a BIOS, configs, ROMs and splash screen folder. It's pretty simple, just double click on the splash screen folder I've actually already pre-downloaded a bunch of splash screens. So I've got them in this folder right over here labeled splash screens. I'm gonna open that up and you can see I've got five videos in there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide, or I guess I'm gonna use the Pi Station Boot Retro Pi Splash Screen PlayStation style. So that's gonna look like this. So I like that one. It, it uh, really matches with the Pi Station that uh, we've been building in the past and that we're currently working on. So I thought it uh, it made sense to throw that on here. So all you got to do is just click and drag it in. Uh, it doesn't take any time at all to download in there. And uh, once it's done transferring, that's it. It's there. So next, what we have to do is we've got to go and enable the splash screens on our RetroPie. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to there. See you guys in a second. All right guys, here we are. Now we're in our Raspberry Pi. So what we need to do is just shift over, sorry, over to the RetroPie menu and we're gonna enter into it. And if you scroll all the way down towards the bottom, you're gonna see there is an option called Splash Screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. A menu is gonna pop up and it has a bunch of different options. Really quickly, all the way at the bottom, there's an option called, uh, option number nine, download RetroPie Extra Splash Screens. All that does is it downloads a bunch of extra splash screens from the repository, and it downloads them directly onto your SD card. Uh, that's good for anyone who doesn't have a specific video they want to put in as a splash screen or a specific image. Just gives them a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more options. Uh, in our case, we know exactly what we want to do. So we are just going to scroll up and enable splash screens on boot. That's option two. And we're gonna go ahead and press enter on that. And that's it, it's done. Enabled splash screens on boot. We're good with that, so we'll hit okay. And then on the very top, it says choose splash screen. That's what we want to do. So we'll enter there. Now you're gonna have two options. RetroPie splash screens, which will be stock ones that are installed with RetroPie when you uh, when you when you install the software and then there's a secondary folder which has own slash extra splash screens That's the folder in which we Transferred our video file on our computer into as well as that if you download option number nine All the downloaded extra images and videos and stuff will go into that same folder So we're gonna go ahead and enter into there and now you're gonna see all of the extra ones that populated from the download that I did uh, and I did that off-screen it only takes about two minutes, but I had done it off screen. You don't need to do it. In our case, we already had moved the video that we wanted. So that one's Pi Station Boot Retro Pi Splash Screen PlayStation Style.mp4. Uh, that was just a cool video I found on YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and select that one. I thought it fit really well with the Pi Station model that we've uh, previously built. So we hit enter on it, splash screen is set. So we're gonna hit okay. And that's it. Now we just have to go back. And, that, and that's exactly it. So now we know that our splash screen is set and it will run on reboot. So all we have to do is test it. So I'm gonna actually do a restart on my Raspberry Pi just so you guys can see that. One second.
Awesome, so that's it, that's the splash screen. Now you will have noticed at the very beginning, right before the splash screens actually played, there was some text and some raspberry icons in the top left corner. In the next video I make, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to hide that information. Uh, the reason you'd wanna do that is just because it makes the boot up sequence a lot more smooth and fluid. It's not as bulky, it doesn't look as cody, and it doesn't look as, as, as strange when you're watching it, I suppose. So we'll show you how to do that in the next video, but that's pretty much it for this video. Please make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. If you guys have any suggestions about any future videos that you'd like to see or you'd like to see me do any other tutorials, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. But other than that, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll chat with you guys soon.